Hi, Anne. This is Anne. And uh, thanks for being willing to hear my take on your three pieces um, that you entered into CP Treasures Volume 9. And uh, this was one of yours. Uh, this is called Green Eyes. Nice name. Nice title. This is really close to, like, you know, a fabulous piece. Like, it's very, very nice. Your fur is beautiful. The direction that, you know, that you paid good attention to the direction of the hair. I like the, um, the attention to detail, you know, through this middle part that's most important. You have a lot of nice strokes. And then I really like the way that you loosen those strokes up as you go out away from the focal point of the eyes and the face. I tell you one thing that bothers me as far as composition goes is that it's a square piece, which is nice. I like square pieces myself. Um, but in a square piece with something like this, that's basically round. Um, you want to sort of put that round in this, in the middle of that square. And then everything, like it just sits well with the viewer. So she's a little over, he, she is a little over, you know, to the right. And, um, that, that, yeah, I, I think that doesn't quite work. I would have scooted her over to be in the middle of a middle, the middle of a square piece. I really love how you left this very light. Uh, that works really well. I think that you're, I, now this is on pastel mat, and I don't work on pastel mat. I don't know if you have um, erased out these lines or if they've gone on top, but I'd like you to, I, I want to suggest that you work on these sorts of line. Uh, because they're a little awkward. They're not in, they're not as graceful as they could be. They're not as elegant. They're not as loose. They're not as free flowing. And what I want you to do is to use your wrist and not your fingers when you do these sorts of lines. So you can draw just with your fingers and your wrist is still. I'm sorry, that doesn't really wrist and your wrist is still. Or you can draw using the natural curve of your anatomy. And if you do these sorts of lines with your wrist, you'll get more beautiful, graceful lines and you won't have to work so hard at them. Um, it's kind of the same thing with the, with the whiskers. Like this one and this one, they're very nice. Your black ones are very nice. This white one is nice, but these down here, they're just like, they don't quite work. They're just not, I mean, it's a tiny difference. Uh, and then the, I think the um, other thing that bothers me in this piece is, um, the nose, it's like those lines are so sharp and crisp. And, you know, rarely do we have things um, in nature, especially like these little nose, that are that crisp of an outline. Now, if you had a style of crispness and the whole thing was nice and, and you know, hard lines, that would work. But um, uh, I don't think that the hard lines around the nose, I just wish they were softened up a little bit, a little blurry. Um, this is a very nice piece. I mean, all your work is very nice. I, I love the background. I really think you did a wonderful job with these trees. Not easy to do. Your greens are nice, and they're a little bit hard in um, color pencil. But you've added enough yellows and sort of grays and possibly even some gray-brown tones to the greenery so that, that it's completely believable really nice. I love, love these highlights across here. The grass is a, l a little less successful, um, difficult to do. It might have something to do again with using your fingers to draw these shapes, these curves instead of your wrist. But the, um, the fellow here, Jackson, he is, uh, very well done. Um, you know, there's just, this is maybe a little too small a piece for this to, to have this be super successful. I think 10 by eight is kind of small because uh, there's just some areas like right here. I don't know. This whole leg here just does, is not quite working. It's a drawing problem, sort of an edges problem, like things that should be soft or edged or not. Whereas this, this foreleg here looks, works really well. And the piece that we, um, okay. So this one, honestly, I just love it. Um, I really do. I think that this, it was really hard. Um, it, you know, this could very easily, any other year, this very easily could have gotten into CP Treasures. 
because um, it's beautiful. The golden light. The, the mood of the piece. I really like the way you've composed this. Uh, I, I might shave just a, I might do this. Let's see. This might have been slightly more, um, a better composition, just because since you're leaving a little more space on this side, then narrowing this a little more would be even better. But the warm golden light, the expression, how you really went all the way by, uh, uh, you know, working with the light by making this eye so light and this um, so much darker. That background, I mean, have you considered doing landscapes? Because, again, you, you're, you really are doing a nice job back here. Um, most people that are, you know, doing pet portraits, you know, just check it out completely when it comes to the background and you do not I mean I think the only reason probably that this was not in CP treasures this year was just that we had so many dogs I mean we had we, we always have a lot of dogs but this year we had a billion dogs and it just becomes very difficult to choose I really love your grass up here too very nice this is better grass than any other piece I think probably the all the week the week part if you want to call it weak um of this draw of this drawing is this right here those lighter it's the same problem the lighter hairs are just a little awkward they're a little too thick or not clumpy enough like they're too it too thick for individual hairs but that nose those eyes the um the ears actually work very well all of the all of the face works and that light oh my gosh if you can work more pieces with that golden afternoon light, um, let me encourage you to do so because you have got that light spot on. It's absolutely beautiful. I almost wonder, you know, if we, um, if we cropped it, you know, just to here, or let me do that one more time. This actually might have been a winning piece because there's just absolutely nothing there that's false so um but you know like I, it's 99 percent there it's just we had a lot of dogs so um and thank you again and i were very happy to publish this in hidden treasures and i want to encourage you to keep working um yeah because you have a lot of talent Thanks, Anne. Bye.